हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग अप दिस इज नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोइंग टॉक अबाउट टर्बो चार्जर क्लीनिंग इन टुडे वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ द टर्बो चार्जर इज क्लीन व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट मेथड ऑफ टर्बो चार्जर क्लीनिंग एंड हाउ इट इज डन थ्रू अ सीरीज ऑफ डायग्राम आई विल शो यू हाउ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्लीनिंग मेथड इज बीइंग कैरीड आउट in turbo charger before starting the video i want to tell you that i have made the turbo charger series explaining each and every part i will keep this in my description box you can go through it if you want to know about each and every part of a turbo charger so let's begin the today video of turbo charger cleaning the first question is asked that why do we need turbo charger cleaning so the answer will be the gas and air side of turbo charger must be kept in a clean condition as build up of deposit can seriously impair the supply of combustion air to the engine and result in other problem such as turbo charger surging this turbo charger surging i will cover in my next video suction filter can be removed for cleaning without disturbing the engineering operation so first see as you can see in this diagram that if the turbo charger is not clean in their lifetime so how badly they can be affected means how badly they can be become dirty and as it become dirty it will affect the efficiency of a turbo charger and it can ultimately lead to the turbo charger surging to prevent that this type of suction filter is generally provided on the compressor side as you can see it consists of two part one is the paper element and second is the impurity stainer type it is provided on the top of that it will prevent any coarse particles and this will prevent any fine particles and it also act as a silencer so for that reason we are doing turbo charger cleaning so if anybody asks why we are doing turbo charger cleaning we are doing turbo charger cleaning to prevent the build up of deposit and second to prevent turbo charger surge now cleaning interval of a turbine and impeller will vary with operating condition and quality of fuel being burned very important means depending upon the type of fuel we are using on that the getting affected means the dirt accumulation will vary if we are using cleaner fuel then the dirt accumulation will be less and if we are using heavy oil fuel with heavy viscosity and heavy impurities then the turbine side and the compressor side will get more dirty it also depend means that mainly the compressor side depend upon the atmosphere in which you are working means if you are in bulk bulk carrier in that case the chances of air side getting badly affected because of the impurities present in the air especially in the coal carrier okay cleaning program cleaning program should not be started if turbo charger has not been cleaned very very important means if you are not following the cleaning program and you have started in between in that case the partially removal of a heavy heavy deposit will result rotor imbalance and severe vibration so what do i mean by that is that if the turbo charger is been clean since from the beginning then it's okay it will be maintained in a clean condition but if it is not been clean from starting and you have started just now in between in that case what will happen suppose this is dirt like that dirt has accumulated here and you had not performing any cleaning program but now suddenly you come to know about cleaning what is the importance of cleaning 
and you have now started the cleaning program so what will happen some dot of hair some dot of hair or some dot of hair will be removed while the other dot will remain because of partially cleaning and because of that the rotor will get imbalance and hence again it will cause vibration and surge so if you are following a cleaning program then you should continue if you are not following in that case you should perform complete overall of a turbocharger do a fully thorough cleaning after overall and then you start the cleaning program okay now the cleaning of turbocharger in running time is mainly carried out on two side one is the compressor side and other is the turbocharger side so first let's talk about compressor side compressor cleaning cleaning of the impeller and volute casing is undertaken at a interval of 25 to 75 hour okay means after a interval of 25 to 75 hour we should perform compressor cleaning if the turbocharger is running for a period continuously in between that we should perform turbocharger cleaning but now a fix quantity of water is injected into the eye of the impeller over a short period of time and the action of water droplet remove light deposit from the impeller and casing on full load to be carried out this operation so what are the thing we need to take care about the first thing is that the turbocharger should be running in between this means the cleaning interval should be carried out in between 25 to 75 hour second it should be carried on full load okay and third the amount of water is fixed very important the amount of quantity of water to be injected is fixed and what action does the water perform water is removing the light deposit not the heavy deposit it is removing the light deposit from the impeller and the casing surface so these four thing you should take care first the interval second in which load you are carrying about and third fixed quantity and fourth is the what deposit light deposit now let's see how it is carried out this is mainly a fixed container is considered a fixed container in which the water quantity is mainly 2 to 3 liter this is a filling cap we will remove the filling cap we will fill it with the water of 2 to 3 liter when the engine is running at full load it will be filled up and after that we will fix the filling cap and then we will open this valve as the valve will open the water from this here will go and it will go to the inducer and impeller side and will impinge on it and it will clean the light deposit on the impeller and inducer so 2 to 3 liter of water is fixed quantity second it is carried in full load therefore to the impingement of that it will cleaning it and third it is removing the light deposit okay now we are talking about gas side cleaning so right now we talk about compressor side cleaning means we talk about this cleaning here now we are talking about gas side this is the turbine side so what will happen to turbine side turbine side cleaning are mainly carried out in two way one is the dry cleaning and second is the water cleaning the dry cleaning are done at a interval of 24 to 50 hour okay now how it is done it is run this procedure involve the injection of a specific quantity of crushed rice walnut shell or similar thing size up to 1.5 mm into the gas flow entering the turbine nozzle ring cleaning is a mechanical impact process a maximum effect is obtained at a high speed it should not be operated at half load so these are the important point you should think first the interval should be 24 to 50 hour okay second 
it should be operated at high speed means it should be operated close to the full load okay third the size of the walnut cell or a rice or a thing which cleaning cell should be up to 1.5 mm not more than that okay and how it is cleaning it is cleaning by the mechanical impact process so these are very very important point which i am telling you okay now let's see how we are doing it basically it consists of a hopper tank a tank is provided in which mainly we are filling the nut its cap is there we will open the cap we will fill the crushed walnut cell and after that we will open the air and that air will go and then through here it will impinge on to the turbine plate this diagram will this is the walnut cell which is around 1.5 mm in dia this diagram will give you a clear idea this is a turbocharger now what is happening here is the hopper this is the hopper okay this is the hopper now what is happening we are filling the hopper and after that we are closing the drain and we are opening the sealing air as the sealing air will open through here it will go and impinge on the turbo charger okay if you see this diagram we will open this and we will fill the crushed walnut cell after it is filled up with the crushed walnut cell we will seal the cap and then we will open the air and this valve should be then open and then it will go here so first these two valve will be shut a and b shut open the number 2 container fill the number 1 container with the crushed walnut cell close the number 2 lid after that open the a valve and after the a valve is open then open the valve b at last as the valve b will be open the air will drive the crush walnut cell onto the turbine blade okay so first fill it up both valve closed then open the air and lastly open the number b i hope it is clear what point you should take care first thing the interval it should be carried out within the interval of this it should be carried out at high load and the impact is with the mechanical impact which is doing the cleaning and the walnut cell size should not increase 1.5 mm more than that now the second cleaning is the water washing which is very rarely done because it will be done in the interval every 6 day of the engine operation in this process engine load to be reduced to below half power and atomized water very much important atomized water we are using okay atomized water is injected into the gas flow to the turbine nozzle ring the turbine drain must be open throughout the cleaning process to allow water and deposit to drain away to note deposit in water leaving the casing drain check for clean water and set off close drain when water flow ceases normal engine load for half an hour so what are thing to take care basically what i mean to say this is the water side cleaning this water side cleaning first understand the diagram this is the water inlet valve which has been connected through here means this water inlet atomizing nozzle is provided which has been connected through this here through a, this connection this is consisting of a drain cock for this line and this is a water supply basically it starting first we will open this and first we will open the drain to see the water is clear it, the line is clear after that we will close this drain cock then the water will be open fully and then it will go through here the water will be injected and before beginning all this process we have to open the drain cock so 
first open the drain cock then open this drain cock and first open the water make sure the water is clear no impurities in the line and then close the drain cock and then the water will go from here and it will through the cleaning water inlet valve having the nozzling effect having the atomizing effect the water will be clean the turbocharger with the impact basically this whole process is done when the engine is running at a half power rpm means as in a case of a driver nut shell we have seen we are doing it at a full load but the water cleaning are done at a half rpm and this process will continue till we obtain means when we are doing starting the water cleaning first the water which will coming out will have a impurities black impurities because of the dust and dirt which will be coming out and after a period of time you will see the water will start to get cleaner over a period of time because the impurity will be removed and as the impurity will be removed we will be when we observe the water which is coming out from the drain cock is clear it means the turbocharger is clean now we will shut the drain cock but after shutting the drain cock we will also stop the water supply now after the whole water supply is shut off we will keep running the engine for half an hour to 1 hour in the same rpm why this is done to prevent the inducing of thermal stress to prevent the thermal stress to be induced the engine should be run at least for a half an hour in that same engine load that is half power engine load to prevent the thermal stress to be induced so that after the half hour we will slowly slowly will increase and we will observe if there is no vibration and surging happening we will slowly slowly increase the rpm if we observe there is surging or vibrating then we should again do the cleaning till we obtain no vibration no surging because if we are observing that there is a surging is happening it means the turbine side is not properly cleaned okay so this is how basically we are doing the water washing so gas side have two type cleaning method dry cleaning and water washing dry cleaning are done at a interval of 25 to 50 and water washing are done at a interval of 60 okay in most of the engine running period of time it has been seen that most of the maker and most of the seafarer in their normal time they perform the dry cleaning method means water washing is rarely been carried out sometime if you are following as i have told you if you are following the cleaning program if you are following the cleaning program then you can do means if you are regularly doing the water washing of every 6 day then you should do if you are not doing you should not start in the middle because it may remove certain dust particle from every part not every part from some of the part and it may cause imbalance of rotor and turbine side so you should avoid if you are not cleaning the cleaning program i hope the idea of turbocharger cleaning is clear if you have doubt please do comment below and please friend please do subscribe and please do share my humble request to all of you i am making this video for all of you so please subscribe and please share in your social platform i want all of our marine friend from all over the world to come to this platform so that we can learn and grow together please have a good day friend